Welcome to the Romance Your Tribe podcast with me, Janet Beckers, where every episode is about action, creating an online business you absolutely love and bringing joy to the work you do. Let's get this party started. Hello and welcome, Janet Beckers here. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at sales calls, but specifically when you get onto the sales call itself, how do you run that sales call so you are in charge, baby? And it also is a really nice process for you and the potential client. So that's what I'm going to run over today, that part of the sales process on that call. Now, if you haven't listened to last week's episode where I go over like the three things that you need to have in place before you get on the sales call, then that's a great one for you to listen to. So listen to this one here and then make sure you go back over there because it will really put all the pieces into place for you. So if you're either putting off using sales calls at all in your business because the whole idea is really, really intimidating and it also feels icky, then you're really gonna enjoy this process today. And if you are using sales calls already, but you're not enjoying it, like you really, really have to psych yourself up to do a sales call, you, you may not necessarily get sales as often as you would like. And, or you might even find yourself that you're just giving away so much information anyway, that the sales calls, you end up resenting people at the end because you've just given them all the help for free. If that sounds like you, then, this particular episode is going to make it so much easier for you. Okay, so make sure you listen to the other one as well because it is just going to make it so that you are totally powerful when you get on this call. Okay, now before I share with you the process that I use and that I my clients use uh, to actually structure a sales call, I want to go over with you some of the things that people are doing wrong. Okay, because if you're doing these things now, this is what you can change through this. So the first thing that I see that people do wrong is they tell people that they're actually not going to be doing a sales call. They're not up front. So they will hide it behind a free discovery session or, you know, a free strategy session. And the reality is if, if anybody says to you, hey, booking for your free call, you actually interpret that as, hey, book in so that I can try to manipulate you to buy something. Come on, it's real, isn't it? So it's so much better to just to be up front and say to people, hey, let's see if we are a good match and if I can help you. And if I can, I'll let you know the best ways I've got. If I don't think I can help you, at least you'll have got some clarity. Like just be upfront, okay? So this is, if you're doing that, that is going to be making you feel really icky when you get on to the sales call because you're trying to think about how do I turn this around from, hey, I've given you great value to now I want to sell you something. You're always going to have that in your mind and also the client is going to be thinking, all right, when's, it, when's she going to start with the pitch? So that is a really common mistake, so don't do it. Do not do it, do not do it, do not do it. <laughs> um, and there's, so I've got in the, in the Attractor Tribe Academy, we have a whole module on how do you run sales calls, but also what do you do leading up to it? And we talk about like, how do you actually pitch what it is that you're offering? Um, you know, what is actually going to happen on that call? What do you do beforehand? So, but that's a great way for you to start. Ditch the pretense, okay? Just be upfront. Now, the other thing that I find that people do as big mistakes is when they do get on the call, they don't take control of the process. They're not the ones who are saying, you know, this is how the call's going to get run. And this is, you know, the next steps. They're, they're starting it off with, hey, how can I help you? You know, what's, what's, tell me a little bit about why you're here. Um, so you're handing it straight over to the client and the problem with that is you can spend a lot of time going down rabbit holes and you can get a little bit lost and it can go off tangent it's do not that's that's not what you're going to be doing here okay stop 
trying to be nice and giving them the control. You're in charge, baby, okay? Get ready to get that whip out and start cracking it in a very nice way, okay? So that's a really big mistake. So don't go down there. And it's not nice for the person who was actually turning up because they just feel like they're unloading and they're feeling lost. They're looking for guidance and leadership and you are not offering it. So why are they gonna trust you with their money? You couldn't even take control of a sales call. How do they know that they can put their trust into you when it comes to getting the results? Okay, these are all the things. This is actually what is actually going through people's minds, and you will know this because it's going through your minds if you ever have that process. Okay, now the third thing that people do wrong, and by the way, I've done all of these, <laughs> I've done every single one of these mistakes, and I've done them for a long time in the past. The third one, and this was the one that really killed me, is you do get people onto the call and you, you end up coaching. You end up spending all of your time, you know, helping them to solve some of the problems they've got. And you can be telling yourself, I am really demonstrating I know my stuff. But what you're actually doing is you kind of, you're not giving them good value because you're going, okay, I can help you here. You can't help but give them the answers because you know the answers to the questions that they've got. So you start giving them those answers. But you can't solve all their problems in half an hour or an hour if you're on there for an hour. So, you know, you're really doing them a disservice and yourself because I, I lost track of how many times went, oh my God, you are just so brilliant, so brilliant. <laughs> yes, I am. That's what you're thinking to yourself. Oh, you're so good. You've given me so many great ideas and a great action plan. <laughs> yes, I did. I'm good. I tell you what, I've got so much to do now. I'm going to go and do it. It's probably going to take me quite a few weeks or months to get all of this done now. And then I'll come back, okay? And then we'll have a look at the next things. So, duh, like I, I lost track of how many times that happened. And don't you resent that client? Don't you resent them because you're thinking, oh, come on, you just really took advantage of me. I'm an idiot. It's your fault, okay? You did not have the structure in place. So it took me a while for me to realize it wasn't them ripping me off. It was me ripping myself off and them because without fail, I might in some way come across them and talk to them in a few weeks time and they've done stuff all, they hadn't done it all. So, because <laughs> um, they really, they didn't have all the steps to be able to make it happen. Okay, if you are doing that, know that that is super duper normal, okay? Now, let's now walk over into what you can be doing instead. Now, um, again, go and listen to the other podcasts where I talk about the things that you need to have in place in before you even get on the phone because once you've got those in place it's super easy i'll just summarize them you need to have super duper clear on the um what is the transformational journey that that client is super duper keen on achieving so you've got to be super duper clear on who is your profitable avatar and what is the outcome they really that they want that and then also super clear on what's what's your transformational promise. What part of what they want to achieve can you absolutely guarantee that they can get? You've got to be super clear on that. Then you've got to have a process so that you only get people on the phone or Zoom who meet that criteria. And I go into detail a bit more in the last podcast. And then number three, you've got to have an offer for them that gives them that outcome that is such a no-brainer. So again, I go into a bit more detail in that in the next, the other podcast from last week. And I've also got free training for you on this as well. So I'll go into that at the end um, and also how I can help you. So just know you've got that into place. So once you get on the phone, it's actually, it's, it's pretty straightforward, okay? Because you haven't tried to pretend that you're not having a sales call. They're looking for a match up. So you need to have a process that you do straight away. So this is the process that I use. I'll go over it um, briefly for you to understand. It's the exact process that I use for any sales calls. And in fact, it's very similar to the process that I use for when I'm doing coaching and mentoring calls, except there is one step different. Okay, so um, I'll run you through that. Just know that I've got training on this that's got all of the questions, it's got more of the structure, it's got every single step for setting everything up. I've got 
detail on that that's in my Track Your Tribe Academy in our Sell It Baby, Sell It Milestone um, modules. And so if you want some help with that, just know I've got your back. Just contact me, say, tell me about the Academy and I can tell you that. So here is the four step process. Okay, and you'll understand why I said you need to have those first three steps in place for this process to work really well. Step number one, I want you to think about um, there's a transformation that this client needs to go on. Step A, that is where they, um, that's where they are now. Okay, step B is where they want to be. So that's the outcome they want to achieve. So you've got to know point A and point B. So you've got to be clear on what point A and point B is, okay? Um, so what you'll do at the very beginning, say, hi, welcome. The objective today is I really want to work at, I'm going to get to understand your problem. Then I'm going to help you to get some steps that you can take action. And then if I think that I can help you, I'm going to tell you about the way I can help you and you can choose to see which is the best match for you so I'll make some recommendations and if I don't think that I can help you I'll let you know okay so you're letting them know okay this is the objective of today's call so that's number one so then you'll also say and this is what I always like doing with everybody is I let them know okay this is how I am going to be structuring the call so this is what I say so that you can understand that this is the four step process, okay? I'll say to them, so the first thing I'm gonna do is, I know that you're going to be on a bit of a journey here. So I know that there's a point A and a point B. Point A is where you are now, point B is where you wanna to go to. So for me to know if I can help you, what we're gonna to do to structure this call, we're gonna get super duper clear on point B. And I just want you to know that the next step then, we're gonna go back over to what is point A, like where are you now? So I understand how, what we've got to, how far along the process you are. And I say to them, and I just want you to know that if at any time during this call, if I say to you, hang on a tick, we're heading over into point A category here, let's just spend a little bit longer because I've got some more questions on point B. Just know that that's because if we follow this process, this call will be so much more efficient for you. So I'm actually letting them know that I might interrupt them when they're talking and say, oh, you're getting ahead of yourself here. Let's get back, I've got some questions, okay? So point B, you need to understand what it is that they wanna achieve. There's numerous reasons for that. One is you wanna know, can you help them? And also you wanna know like how important it is to them, all right? So you get super clear on point B. Once you've got a good understanding of what it is and how important it is to them. The, if there's not only important, you know, why waste your time? So you want to know if it's important for them. Once you've got that, then you can say, okay, this is in summary what I understand, point B to B for you. Let's now look at point A. And let's just look, I wanna really understand where you are now and what the frustration is. Why, why, what's stopping you from get to there? So that's where you get to talk about the problem. It's really important to, uh, to be able to create that gap, to understand that gap. So then I will say to them, okay, we're gonna talk about point B, then we're gonna really understand point A so I know how far we've got to go. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work out an action plan. What are the main steps that you need to have in place to get there? And so we'll understand those process. And then at the end of those steps, if you would like my help to help you to achieve that, then I will let you know what, what I can offer you to help you. But if I don't think that when we understand point A, if I don't think that um, I can help you to achieve that, well, I'll let you know. So I'm only going to tell you what I've got to offer if I think that I can help you. So that is what I say to people right at the beginning and then I, get, I, then I say, is that okay with you? You understand those four steps? Without fail, people go, oh yeah, that's fantastic. They already know what's gonna happen, okay? You don't, there's no having to transition into the sale. 
it's really clear at the front that this is the process. Just so that you know, when I do a mentoring call or a coaching call, it's exactly the same step. We get clear on what we want to achieve in that call, really clear on where they are now. Then we go over what are the steps that they need to do. And the difference is, of course, I'm not saying now, let, now to buy something so I can help you, is then I go, okay, this is what you need to do. This is the template. This is the process. Here's your objectives. Here's the goals we set. Let's go. So the last part is let's get this shit done, basically. <laughs> um, so you can see then why this feels like a really nice process because it's very, very similar to the process you use to coach or mentor somebody. It's just that the last part is, all right, you want some help? This is how I can help you. That's where your beautiful offer comes in. So you can see why this doesn't feel like you're trying to manipulate people. It feels as if it's actually a nice process, okay? And without fail, every I don't think I've ever had a sales call since I've used this process where we haven't left with the person going, oh, that was fantastic. I actually got a lot out of today. And also since then, because I qualify beforehand, the percentage of people who buy is usually somewhere around about 70%. Um, if, I'm, if I've been doing a promotion and they're super qualified, it can get up to 90%. Uh, very rare that I would get somebody on the call, you know, if I would be getting a group of people on the call and my conversion would be less than 50%. And it's not just me, it's my clients as well, because it's a process. So if you have those three things in place that I talked about in the last um, episode, before you get on the call, and then if you just use this simple four-step process when you are on the call, then... Honestly, it becomes fun. It becomes a really nice way to connect with people and it really gets you to help to, um, to understand is the people who you've got on that call, if you want to work with them as well, because that, that will also, if you're, what you're offering them involves you actually working with them personally. If you don't think that you actually want to work with them, you don't tell them <laughs> about your offer. Okay, you can just say, look, I think you've I think you've got this fine on your own. Yep, you've got the steps. Off you go. So um, it also allows you to choose to work with the people that you really, really like. Okay, um, so there you go. There is the three steps to have in place before you even get on the phone. And then there is the four step process that you use to run a sales call. And when you do this, it actually becomes fun because it's profitable and you're not feeling any ickiness at all. You don't need to memorize any scripts, okay? Now, all of these steps that go into this, there's, of course, I'm giving you the summary here. Um, if you'd like some help with that, that's what I've got in the uh, Sell It Baby Sell It section. We have six milestones in the Attract Your Tribe Academy, and one of those is Sell It Baby Sell It. And one of those in there has got this module on pre-qualifying, getting the right people on the call, and then running a sales call with confidence. So all of the templates and all of those sorts of things. If you want it, if you want access to that, um, just send me a message about the Academy. Say, tell me more, and we'll make sure you get the links. Um, or go and search around romanceyourtribe.com website, and you'll find links there as well. But just contact me. And if you're not sure if it's for you, we can hop on the phone, okay? Um, so there you go. You can, you can experience firsthand <laughs> that four-step process. And um, now, for you, an action step. Okay. Scare-sided. Might have a scare-sided challenge for you. Now, scare-sided is that feeling that you get when something is really exciting, that, you know, the idea of getting on a sales call and that it's actually really fun and profitable so you feel great about them. That could be the exciting thing, but it scares the shit out of you. <laughs> there you go. That's the feeling of scare sided. Kind of makes you feel excited and scared at the same time. That's where the magic happens in running your business, in growing your business. So a scare sided challenge is to step up into that. So my challenge to you is whatever stage you're at now, I challenge you to step up and just, you may be able to have enough from these, what I've been telling you in these episodes to go out there and make a difference and actually have sales calls that feel good. That's my challenge to you. 
if you'd like some help and you're going, yeah, Janet, just make it simple for me. I just don't want to have to think too much. Let me follow the steps. Come and talk to me about the academy. Or another action step that you can take is I've got some great free training that goes in depth in how to set everything up. So you've got all those pieces in place so that your business, um, you know, you've got this beautiful business that allows you to make a difference to people and to be able to have freedom in your own life. So you've got all those steps. So I go over those steps that you need to have and that includes the Sell It Baby Sell It. So that's free training. You can find that over on romanceyourtribe.com. Um, and the links will be there at the top as well. So that's action steps you can take. But first, that's the main thing. Just do choose one thing. One thing that's going to move you closer. That is my scare-sided challenge for you today. And I would love to hear from you. So drop me an email or a message. Or find me over on the Instagram stories. Share a story and tag me in it of, you know, what is it that, um, what's your action step? What's the aha? And what are you going to do to step into scare-sided this week? Just one action. really want to hear from you. Okay. Bye. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I loved hanging out with you. So let's do this again. The best way to do that is to subscribe right now to Romance Your Tribe podcast so you never miss an episode. And if you'd like to dive in deeper to more episodes, great resources, and really in-depth free training, come over and join me at romanceyourtribe.com. Bye.